Hey guys, Eric of Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Your time's important to me as always. And what we're going to do in today's time is we're going to check out a bait that I've been wanting to get my hands on for several months now. It's a little bit hard to get where I'm at, um, even though I haven't tried super, super hard, but I was able to get me a couple of them a few weeks ago, and that is the 13 Fishing Jabberjaw Crankbait. You know, if you guys watch the channel, you know I love to throw um, square bills. I love to throw chatterbaits. And obviously this is a square bill crankbait with a little bit of a twist. So we're going to check it out. I did get a chance to fish it at a tournament this past weekend a little bit. Let you know what I thought about or think about that experience there. If you guys have any experience with the bait, you can let me know. But we're going to take a, just a closer look at this particular bait. Stick around. I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay guys, here is the 13 Fishing Jabberjaw Crankbaits. Um, if you're not familiar with these, this is, this is a bait up, you know, like I said, I've been wanting to try for a while, but what makes these unique, it has this articulating metal lip in, a, in the jaws right here of the front of the crankbait that make it unique. So it's gonna give it that, that hunting action and kind of that, that blade action uh, of a chatterbait because you can see this articulates side to side and up and down at the same time um, and it's held on here with a basically uh, it's like a snap swivel here stainless steel lip on it um, this is not the first bait my understanding to have this design to it the six cents axis crankbait was the first one that had that uh, kind of articulating metal lip on it but the jabber jaw i've heard a lot of good things about this color pattern right here is uh, Mud Bug Punch, and this shad pattern right here, and I'll take it out of the package here in a second, you get a better look at it, is the uh, Natty Light. So I thought I'd get one in kind of a crawl pattern for early spring and uh, those muddy water conditions, and then we fish a lot of places that have the gizzard shad and threadfin shad and uh, have the Natty Light color pattern for that. Okay guys, so here is the, uh, the, the Natty Light shad pattern. Uh, on this jabber jaw and to kind of give you the uh the stats on, on this bait right here uh, what it's all about it the, the length on it's two and three eighths inch and um nine sixteenths ounce and the hook set up on it you know um it's online it said number two hooks but these aren't twos these are fours on here and in the box does say fours on it but uh it's got high quality VM, vmc hooks that black nickel um hooks to them the reason I wanted to try this bait though is because like I say, it uh, it has that action of a chatterbait, which I absolutely love to throw. You guys know if you watch the channel. And then it also has the uh, the hunting action of a of the chatterbait, but also that square bow crankbait. I can tell you, we fished a tournament this past weekend um, and this place, this particular lake is loaded with laydowns, uh, flooded timber, brush pile, stuff like that, mainly these big laydowns. I ran this particular bait right here on um, most of the day off and on along with other baits. Uh, I did not catch any fish on it, but I'll tell you what, I'm really impressed with how this bait, not just hunts in the water, but the way this thing, I was throwing it up in some really thick um, lay downs and brush and it came right through. I, di I didn't get this bait hung up all day. I had another square bill that I was throwing that I did and I got some chatter baits hung up, but I did not get this particular bait hung up all day long. So, uh, you know, just kind of a quick look at this. I, I think it's a unique, it's probably a niche bait, you know, um, and time will tell if it's gonna, if it's gonna, you know, be a mainstay in my tackle box, but uh, I thought it was worth giving a couple of them a try. And something else too, if you guys are looking at, at baits like this or other ones that are kind of hard to get, um, my two favorite places are Discount Tackle and Tackle Warehouse. I'm not affiliated with either one, but I'll tell you this, uh, a lot of times, Discount Tackle, if they don't have it in stock, they're, they're, they're cheaper than Tackle Warehouse. But Tackle Warehouse, if you call them, they will price match uh, if you call them to another website. And it, it could be any of them out there. And uh, they seem to have a lot better inventory a lot of times than some of the other online uh, distributors of getting baits like these um, 
jabber jaws, or if you're looking for the axis or hard to get chatter baits or whatever it may be, soft plastics. So, uh, you know, just don't forget that they can, they can price match and that'll help you guys out. Hopefully save a little bit of money. Hey guys, it's something else I'll do too. Um, I'm going to fish. I plan to fish these all spring, probably into the summer and fall. Cause I, I throw a crankbait year round, especially a square bill, throw a chatter bait year round as well, but I'll come back uh, and do another video here towards, um, the middle to end of the fall and let you guys know the real verdict on these. Do these perform uh, like I hope and think they can and uh, catch fish like I hope and think they can. So I will be sure to come back and uh, do a part two to this video for you guys. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video, got a little something out of it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that bell notification down in the corner over here so you get notified each time I put a new video up on YouTube. Once again, I really, really appreciate you guys checking out the video and watching today. Uh, be sure to leave me a like and a comment down below. And remember, until that next video, get out there and fish. Mm -hmm.